Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my VCT EMEA Week 2 predictions. I'm going to be going through every game, picking who I think is going to win each matchup. Um, and yeah, I mean, I did this last week, kind of, um, but in my form of like the overall schedule predictions. Um, these are my Week 1 preds. I feel like I did pretty well. Um, I picked an upset, didn't go well, and I picked the favorite in this game, I think. And I mean, they just shit, the Fanatics just shit the bed last week. Um, we'll talk more about them in a bit when we get to the actual predictions. Um, at the end of this video, I will be doing my betit.gg predictions. I'll explain a little bit more, more about what that is at the end, um, when I actually do them. So stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, let's get right into it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy all that kind of stuff. And yeah, let's go. So we'll start here with Carmen Core versus Foot. Rematch from kickoff. Uh, two very, very good teams, I think. I think Foot made some massive improvements in terms of their comps. I liked how Cracks looked on the Rays, honestly. I didn't expect that to be as good as it was uh, when they pulled that out on Split. Uh, the CNED Chamber looked pretty good, honestly. Very much improved, especially on Split. And then playing the Jet on Icebox. I didn't think it was like amazing by any means, honestly. It, I was a little bit disappointed with the Jet, um, but it looked fine. It looked good enough. Um, speaking of role swaps, uh, we're getting Carmicore having, uh, Thomasy play more of the Sentinel, which Magnum was playing, and then, uh, Magnum playing more, like, initiator stuff, where, like, Thomasy's now playing less, like, Viper and everything like that, um, and everything like that, and then Magnum is playing more, like, Sova, like, Gecko, stuff like that, which I think can be better for this team, let Magnum be a little bit more with the pack than he would be on a Sentinel agent or something like that. And I like that for this team. Um, yeah, I don't know. Overall, I do in this game trust the individuals and the firepower on Carmi Core, um, along with like their structure uh, over foot. So that's why I like them in this matchup. That being said, I do think there is a good chance that Fallen just outcalls Magnum on I mean, on this game and just wins foot the game uh, i think that's the big matchup that you should look out for in this game is the like mid-rounding and how each team works the map and everything like that um but overall i still think carmen core will take it even if they get out called even by a little bit then moving on to team heretics versus vitality um i mean heretics are a top two team in the league right now i think they have to be they crushed fanatic last week playing with i mean technically a sub but I do think this roster is better for at least this split. Heretics will be better with when they play with Pad Attack rather than playing with Woot. I think they could be better in the future with Woot. Um, just because I like a lot of how Paddy plays with like the supportive utility, even if his fragging isn't like up there in terms of players in EMEA even. Um, and I think they looked really good last week. Now, Vitality did kind of get rolled by Navi. I don't think the scoreline really indicated how like close that game was. Like I do think it was a little bit closer than the scoreline uh, would tell you. Um, I don't love the roles on this team. Like it was kind of a concern coming in. I don't know why they didn't just put like safe on Sensi, kicks on what Trex is playing pretty much, and then Trex on like the stuff that Safe is playing with like all like full time Viper pretty much. Um, that's what I personally would have done, but if they think that's better, honestly, I'm not going to kill them for it. Um, Kicks wasn't terrible on the Sentinel, though. Uh, they brought out the Deadlock Unbind, everything like that. Um, I don't know. I just don't think Vitality is going to be able to improve enough. Like, There were some very, very close rounds in their game versus Navi that could have been closed out with a little bit more like play time together and everything like that i thought they'd come in looking a lot more prepared because i thought they were scrimming with treks before kickoff it did not look like that um especially playing different roles and everything like that so yeah that was just a little weird to me so i think this team will take a little bit more time than i initially expected so i don't think they're going to be able to improve enough to beat heretics week or in week two i think maybe down the line they could be a better team like i think there's a better chance that Vitality ends like if they if these two teams play in playoffs, I do think there's a good chance Vitality improve more 
than heretics do. I just don't know if they will be able to fully close the gap, if that makes sense. Um, Navi Liquid, I'm just going to pick Navi here. Navi, I think, are the best team in the league right now. Uh, Xiao has been improved on smokes, I think, over the course of the time that he's been playing it. Obviously, I still prefer him on the initiator, personally, uh, but that's just me. Um, I do think Angel's Calling, though, looked a lot better um, than it did at kickoff, like his mid-rounding and everything like that. And just as an individual, I thought he was really good. Um, and then Liquid are just Liquid. Like, they have the individuals that I think can kind of contend with Navi, even though Navi's, like, main thing is having just absurd individuals across the board, having artists, Zipban, Xiao, and Sagetsu, all who can pop off at any given time, and even Angel who can pop off some games like he did on Bind versus Vitality. So... I just, I think Liquid needs an underperformance from Navi in terms of individual play. Maybe them to bring out some weird comps and everything like I thought they would. Um, they are seemingly taking this a lot more serious, though, than I thought they initially would. Which, I mean, considering it's a shorter season, that makes sense. Um, but I think I still think they take, take this game over Liquid. And then Koi BBL, I mean, it's the toilet bowl of the week. Um, last week, it was probably BBL Gentlemates, Koi Liquid whichever one you want to pick from those two i don't really care um i think koi showed a lot of nice ideas um but i think they failed at a lot of the execution in terms of just like maybe some small individual mistakes here and there but i don't hate how koi looked i just think they need better players personally um which they don't have uh and then like i don't know i just i think they're gonna win this game i just i don't think bbl is very good um, I could see them taking it, uh, just off pure firepower and everything like that, because I think Reezy and Elite are two very good players. Um, along with, like, some of the other individuals are popping off, like Kushner had moments and everything like that, especially on Sunset. Um, but I think, at the end of the day, I am i can't pick BBL until they actually show something. And then Fina uh, Fanatic. Fanatic Giants. Um, I mean, I'm just going to pick Fanatic. I don't really feel the need to explain this. I literally just... Like, my notes for this game are bro. Like, their Giants aren't winning this game. Like, I understand people are kind of down on Fnatic. Um, I want to see them when they're not coming into the week sick. Uh, maybe making some more individual, like, l maybe some less individual mistakes. Hitting some more shots. I think they close out Lotus if that happens, personally. Um, and yeah, I'm not completely out on Fnatic yet. I still had them in my top tier of EMEA, but I do have them fourth in my power rankings, so... Kind of souring on them a little bit, as most people are, but I'm not completely panicking as, as like the majority of the community is, with this team. And then Carmen Core Gentlemates, I think this game is going to be a lot closer than people think. Um, Carmen Core, they've shown a lot, they've shown a lot of strats and everything like that, and kind of like set play ideas, um, and like a lot of tells in their gameplay and everything like that. Um, and I don't know how to explain it. I also just have a feeling with this game. Um, they've played twice this week. This is their second game um, in this scenario. I mean, not in this scenario, and just everything. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of added pressure on this game as well in terms of being like two massive fan bases. I think that could get this game maybe playing a little wild um, and scrappy, which I do kind of favor Genoates in those moments. I do think they looked solid last week. I do think they're the worst team still, um, but I am going to pick Gentlemates here for my last pick in EMEA. So let me know what you guys think about these picks in the comments below. I know the Gentlemates pick won't be very popular, but I think the rest of it's fairly chalk. Um, maybe some people want foot. Maybe some people want vitality. Maybe some people are really low on Koi. I don't really know. Uh, I'll have to see for what you guys comment. Uh, but now moving on to my betit.gg picks, which I will explain in a moment. So basically what betit is, is it's kind of like a free gambling website, kind of. I don't know how to explain it. Like, you can gamble with these credits that they give you. It's never any kind of real money um, or anything like that. It's just kind of fun to do. Um, ignore my pick rate. I actually do think I've um, I've picked fairly well for last week i did tweet out my preds and everything like that um, but i have been having fun with this so i decided to kind of incorporate this into the videos so we'll start with the mea i did kind of skim over this a little bit 
I do think think some of these picks are kind of wild, like Foot being this favorite over Carmen Core. Um, I might put it quite a bit on Carmen Core there. You're gonna get my real time like thoughts and like analysis on some of these picks. Um, initially, I mean, this is the one that comes to mind. I picked Gentlemates. I'm gonna put like I don't know, two hundred on Gentlemates. I don't want to lose too much, um, but I do want to get something back, so. I'm going to take them in that game. Uh, I know that's, again, not a popular pick, but I'm still going to do it. Um, Then I think I'm just going to put quite a bit on Navi. I'm going to put like a 7.99, so I have a little bit more of an even number. Uh, almost picked the liquid on accident. Um, then I think going back here, I mean, this is probably an obvious one. But I think a lot of there's gonna be a couple bets on Carmen Core that kind of even out the odds, and I get a less of a payout for that. I'm gonna put like I don't know a hundred on BBL because I do think there's a chance of an upset here, uh, which I think it would be an upset, but it's not impossible by any means. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna put like I'm not super confident in Carmen Core in this game. I'm gonna put like two fifty on him. Um, but I don't know why foot is so heavily favored in that game. So yeah, uh, I have two one point bets on Talon and DFM tonight as I'm recording this. Uh, but yeah, these are my picks for this week. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this and my predictions. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.